What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about Microsoft and what their plans are when it comes to virtual reality or augmented reality. It's a big deal. Now Sony just announced that PlayStation has sold 1 million PlayStation VR headsets. So obviously the headset's doing well, probably not as well as they would have liked, but a million is still nothing to scoff at when you're selling a $500 headset. Microsoft, on the other hand, has stated publicly that they're not planning on bringing VR out anytime soon, at least, for the Xbox brand. Now, this might be worrying to some people who are really big into their Xbox Ones. You know, games like Resident Evil 7 played on PSVR amazingly, and I'm sure that lots of you guys, only Xbox owners, saw it and wanted it and, and wanted the ability to play it at home. Microsoft says no, not right now, but I'll give you guys my thoughts at the end of this article and I will drop a link in the description. Microsoft won't be demonstrating Xbox VR at E3 as it shifts focus to wireless headsets. Wireless headsets because, you know, they matter. Oh, this is not the headset they're talking about, is it? Microsoft has said before that it plans to support mixed reality headsets for Xbox One and the upcoming Project Scorpio console in 2018, but the company won't even be teasing its VR plans at E3 this year. In an interview with Polygon, Microsoft Technical Fellow Alex Kipman says Microsoft is focused solely on mixed reality for Windows 10 PCs at the moment. So they're, they're, I don't know if the HoloLens is their proprietary hardware that they're making for mixed reality, but I know that they're working with Oculus Rift. Now if you buy an Oculus, you get an Xbox One or an Xbox 360 controller, one or the other. So they're definitely in partnership with, with Oculus and uh, moving forward virtual reality with them. Kipman said, quote, We believe that right now a Windows PC is the best platform for mixed reality as its open ecosystem and enormous install base offer the best opportunity for developers and Windows offers the most choices for consumers. Windows has been the birthplace of a variety of technologies and we believe this will hold for mixed reality too. Given the efforts we have underway for Windows for mixed reality and our belief that the console VR should be wireless, right now we are focused on delivering mixed reality experiences for the PC, not for the console, end quote. So, they want wireless VR headsets for consoles. That would be amazing. Could you guys imagine if they showed us something like that for the Scorpio? Kipman's hint of a wireless headset for Xbox console gaming suggested Microsoft is holding off on bringing its planned mixed reality headset to its gaming console. Duh. Dell, Lenovo, HP, Asus, and Acer are all planning to release mixed reality devices later this year. So it's really on the move. They see all this money moving around, they want some. But these all need to be tethered to a Windows PC. So the whole wireless idea, it seems very, very hard to, to fathom at this point. It's so much information traveling from the headset to the device, whatever your hardware would be, for you to actually be able to move around at the right frame rate. It just seems almost impossible at this time uh, to think of a wireless headset that would be able to do that. When Microsoft first unveiled Project Scorpio, Xbox chief Phil Spencer said the console would be, quote, built with the hardware capability to support the high-end VR that you see happening on PC space today, end quote. Microsoft's mixed messages don't provide much hope for VR on Xbox at any time soon. And the company refused to clarify to Polygon whether its plans for wireless headsets would impact the 2018 promise for mixed reality headsets on Xbox One. Okay, so this is what I think is happening. The Xbox One would have a hell of a hard time running VR. You see there's a breakout box for the PS4 just for the PS4 to run it properly. Um, and the Xbox has less memory, and the GPU isn't quite as strong, and so they'd have a lot of issues. So if Microsoft came out now and they said, we have a VR headset for the Xbox One, nobody will believe it's for the Xbox One. Simply because the performance of the PS4 is so bare minimum when it comes to VR compared to the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive, just the thought of an Xbox One VR headset would really seem subpar in the mind of gamers who know quite a bit about the Xbox One PS4 and the, the home gaming console ecosystem. So, my thought is this. We already know that the Scorpio is going to be VR ready. It's going to be capable of running high-end VR. Microsoft is more than likely going to announce a partnership with Oculus or a new VR headset for the Xbox Scorpio after the Scorpio is revealed. I think that it's probably going to be shown off it possibly could be shown off at E3. Why would they Why would they spill the beans right now and say, uh, yeah, we're going to show it off at E3. Why would they do that? It would be more exciting to show it at E3 and just say, yeah, well, we had to keep some things under wraps. If they're planning on releasing this thing in 2018, they've got to get you know excitement up. And really, in the gaming world, there's no place more exciting than E3. So if fan excitement is really up when they show off the Scorpio and it's just the bees knees and everybody's really happy about it, I think at the end of the show or sometime during the show, 
they're going to show Xbox VR. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Does VR even matter to you? Honestly, I haven't played my PSVR in quite quite some time. I'm playing Tekken 7 now, and it has a VR mode, and I still haven't put the headset on because I'm just lazy. I work so much all the time. It's like I get home, and I just want to grab a controller. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to take your support even further, visit my Patreon and become a supporter of The Beastly Gamer. I'm The Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.